Hi guys, this is All Things Tech, and today we're doing a quick snapshot of Facebook Paper. So, if you want Facebook Paper and you're outside of the US, then watch my previous video. The link will be in the description, and that will show you how you can get this from anywhere else in the world. Facebook Paper is effectively a new way of viewing your Facebook feed, as well as bringing in a lot of extra media also. As you can see, I'm scrolling through my news feed. There are limitations in what is going to be included, and at the moment there are no adverts on Facebook paper, but I'm sure that that will change at some point. So, as you can see, it's very easy to scroll through. When you do select a story, it will just select it, and you can go into it and see it full screen. In the normal sections, you can create a post like you would do normally and type in what you're thinking, adding a photograph, adding a location, tagging people in, that type of thing. But the main sections of difference are these um, interesting things that are interesting sections that you might be keen on. So with me, it's tech, sports. This is obviously based in the US at the moment, so all of the media is focused only for the US market. And so therefore, it's all about the NBA and NHL for the sport. Tech obviously is there, and you can see here's the section where you can choose the different things. Now at the top of the page are the sections that I'm interested in, and they're the ones that I've selected, and at the bottom are the ones that I can add to that. Now at the moment you can only add a few at a time, I think it's something like eight or nine different sections that you can add, but I'm sure that that will change, and I'm sure there'll be a lot more options later. Now co-generator, we believe that this is going to be a way that you can reset Facebook if you lose your password. So every 30 seconds it will generate a new code and you can update it. So there you go guys, that's a very very quick overview of Facebook. You can see as you scroll through it's a great user interface, it looks really good. There's lots of uh, different and lots of scope for this to go a long way. I think it looks good. It's not like the original Facebook, so it will take some getting used to. But let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you like this video, give it a like. And remember, if you're outside the US and you want it, then follow my video in the description. Thanks for watching.